Back now with the concerns from disc golfers in McAllen. Their favorite field could soon become the new home of a technology company. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia is live from the field in McAllen. Cassandra, disc golfers not happy about the possible change. That's right, Dino. That's because this disc golf course has been around for about seven years now and has become a favorite amongst local disc golfers. But the city says they bought the property for development purposes and they t intend to start using it that way. This is how Scott McFarland spends his free time playing disc golf. The lesser known sport is like golf, except it involves throwing a disc or a frisbee into a basket. McFarland is a professional sponsored athlete and even owns his own disc golf store in downtown McAllen. We started playing here in McAllen in 2015 uh, with Daffodil Park and we started growing the community. It was RGV disc golf, you know. Uh, we started, a, a club started and we started more people playing and more people playing. McFarland says he knows of seven disc golf courses in the valley. The largest one, according to McFarland, is the one in South McAllen on Ware Road and Newhouse Drive. It's a challenging course, you know, long holes, um, different obstacles at plays. It's, it's a little bit different than the other courses in the valley. That might be changing soon. Next week, the city of McAllen will decide whether or not to rezone this piece of land from an agricultural area to an industrial area. While we want to be sensitive to the, the needs of the community, there is a great need for uh, developable property as well. And this uh, company that is potentially coming here is bringing a lot of great paying jobs. If approved, a tech company called Zoho could be moving in, which means the disc golf course would be no more. Something that concerns McFarland and other Valley disc golfers. I mean, it would be a shame. McAllen Assistant City Manager Michelle Rivera says the city bought the property for development and the land was never intended to be a park, even though the signs placed by the city suggest otherwise. This area was uh, was enhanced for the Games of Texas that was here, hosted here several years back. That's why the sign was put up so that they could help the, the visitors to the event find it. McFarland says he hopes the city will help find a new place for the existing baskets. Our hope and our goal is to see disc golf courses being put all over the place because this is something that kind of you can do, the whole family can do. The city of McAllen also needs to prove to FEMA that they have plans to control flooding before they can develop on the property. That's because this area is a floodplain. Now, they've already started that process, but it could be another three or four months before they hear back from FEMA. Live in McAllen, Cassandra Garcia, Channel 5 News at 6.